evening, Mr. President. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to speak to you, and, and I just wanted to pay my respect. And we are with you a thousand percent. You are safe. We are with you a thousand percent. And I wanted to call you and say hello. How are you? Mr. President, as the governor of Guam, representing the people of Guam, and as an American citizen, I have never felt more safe or so confident uh, with you at the helm. So, with all the criticism going on over there, from a guy that's being targeted, we need a president like you. So I'm just so thankful, and uh, I'm glad you're you're holding the helm, sir. Well, we're going to do a great job. You don't worry about a thing. And they should have had me eight years ago, or <laughs> somebody with my thought process, because that was the time. Uh, but uh, and frankly, uh, you could have said that for the last three presidents. But you're going to be taken care of. You become uh, any. I have to tell you, you become extremely famous <laughs> all over the world. They're talking about Guam, and they're talking about you. And I think you're going to get tourism. I can say this: your tourism, you're going to go up in uh, like ten falls <laughs> with the expenditure of no money. So I congratulate. You. Now it looks beautiful. You know, I'm watching. It's showing so much. It's so such a big story in the news. And, it just looks like a beautiful place. So it's beautiful. It's paradise. We got ninety-five percent occupancy, and after all this stuff calms down, we're going to have one hundred and ten percent occupancy. <laughs> That's right. You just went to one hundred and ten, I think. So, <laughs> so look, Governor, I just want to let you know we're we're with you a thousand percent. You have nothing. You notice that he hasn't spoken recently. Oh. Doesn't talk so much anymore. And uh, we'll see how it all yeah. works out, but you're not going to have a problem. Yeah. And sir, sir, is it? They don't, you know, you, you don't, this is between you and I, but uh, you don't talk like they talk. Yeah. You can't do that. And, and you can't do that with people like us. Yeah. Sir, so, you, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects and say uh, you seem like a hell of a guy. Oh, thank you, sir. Again, I wish, I wish there would be less partisanship up, up there. This is a time of threats to the United States. It shouldn't be Democrats or Republicans. It should everybody be unifying behind our president. And so thank you so much, sir. Well, you're right about that. But, you know, unfortunately, we are living with a very obstructionist group. But maybe that will change. Yeah. But uh, regardless, uh, our military is so incredible. And there's no partisanship there. But we, we yeah. are rock solid. And we have the best in the world by a factor of five. So you just take care of yourself. I'll talk to you anytime you need. And uh, again, boy, does that, it looks like such a beautiful place. Come, again, on <laughs> Come on over and visit. Come on over and visit. That could happen. You thank, know what? That could happen. Thank you so much, sir. It looks so beautiful to me. God so bless you. Thank you very much, happen. Any, any, can please say hello to the people of Guam. Give them my highest respects and regards, and uh, I will see you. And just take care of yourself. And, when you're in Washington, come over and see me in the White House, okay? I will do, sir. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Governor. Take care of yourself. Take so care. Long. So long. Bye.